Here I would like to introduce uh, an Excel template which was designed to process uh, pure receipts. QED menu 513.1. It's right here. Um, why, it, why we designed this, this spreadsheet? The main reason was that um, the fact that uh, users would have to switch from 513.1 maintenance program to the reports and back and they could do only one PRO at a time. And it's not necessarily uh, efficient when you do the, the big volumes of, uh, of, rece of the receipts. So um, that's why we designed the spreadsheet and let me show you how it works. Let's say I have a stack of uh, paperwork in front of me with uh, all receipts information that I need to uh, process into the uh, QED system. And uh, all I need to do is basically just look up and then type the uh, purchase order numbers into the column A. Okay. And once it's done, then I click Get All Purchase Orders. And the program will um, display all the open lines for all of the purchase orders listed. And also it defaults the, the site and location from the purchase order. Right. And then if I'm receiving all the quantities, I, I can just simply copy paste uh, this data into column H. Or uh, for simplicity, I can just go ahead and then receive only, you know, only one uh, of each. Okay. And uh, once it's done, and then the second thing is I need to uh, enter uh, pack and slip information. If I, if I if I have okay so I can let me just do some number here and I will use the same slip number okay and I click upload so what happens the the program will validate all the information on the spreadsheet and and give me either you know it either processes it or re returns the error. And in this case, I'm missing um, a lot number. So let me check and, and enter a lot number against this line and repeat the upload. Okay. So this time, everything look, looked good and it processed into QD system and actually it assigned me, assigned the, uh, the receiver number for each line. And I can use this information for reconciliation later on. I can print it off if I need to, or, or I can um, actually uh, save it if I need to, okay? Just for my files, or email it to someone if, if it does make sense, and uh, so on. Now, um, I can go into the second tab, uh, which is called Download, and I can pull uh, all the receipts uh, made for the date range or for a specific receiver range and I can you know just to make sure I you know I have transactions in in the system okay so that that can be uh, done any point of time um, going back to the upload spreadsheet uh, another idea would be to um, to pull uh, a shipping report from suppliers in electronic form uh, in case um, they could provide, uh, let's say, a spreadsheet or just send an email with this information. So instead of you typing any of this stuff, you could um, uh, basically copy paste uh, the data from their email or spreadsheet over to this sp uh, spreadsheet and do the upload. And that'll help you to, uh, um, you know, move the uh, the volume of the data into uh, pr in, into your QD database. Okay. As you could see, this Excel tool is quite powerful and easy to use at the same time. Um, you'll be able to process volume receipts uh, faster and more accurately. So, uh, if you uh, would like to explore more about this tool, uh, please let us know. And thank you very much for your time.